two, three, four. Welcome to Niagara Wine Videos. I'm Brad and this is your Wine of the Week. This week we're looking at Fielding Estates 2012 Estate Pinot Gris. Now Fielding Estate has three Pinot Gris. By far this one is the best in my opinion. You might have a different opinion. They have um, another version which is a little light and fruitier. I seem to think of that as more of the Pinot Grigio type style. And then they have another one which is aged in French oak, which gives a little more, um, I guess, tannin, maybe complexities. Although I didn't find it had more complexities than this one. I found this was the most complex by far of all the three. And I thought it was had the most Alsatian type characteristics to it, which is funny because both of the other bottlings are in an Alsatian type tall German looking bottle. Uh, and this one is in a burgundy type looking bottle, Chardonnay bottle, right? Pinot Noir type bottle. So funny, I would have put this one in the Alsatian uh, type bottle for sure. Uh, but hey, what do I know, right? Uh, maybe they ran out of those bottles so they put it in here. But it's got the fancy, you know, chic gray label for the estate bottles. So signature gray label is for the, um, to signify it's all the grapes in their estate. It's their estate bottling which in my opinion always produces a better wine because they are farming the vineyard uh, and they are putting their complete care, love, dedication into farming those grapes and you always seem to get a better wine from them. In my opinion, unless there's a, an amazing grower out there that is taking crazy care of his grapes and sleeps out in the vineyard to make sure that you know those grapes are, are awesome and then he sells them to the highest bidder. But we're getting away from things as always. <clears throat> Let's get back to the wine. Two really types or variations of Pinot Gris or Pinot Grigio. <coughs> if you know what I'm saying, then you already know the answers. Uh, but Pinot Grigio is grown and vinified in Italy. Warm uh, Mediterranean climate. It ripens uh, quicker. It's hotter there. It usually produces uh, zestier, fruitier, lighter style wines. They're always really fun to drink in the summer because they have that nice grapey character to them, but they're not heavy. They're more refreshing and zesty uh, and uh, fresh, I guess you'd say, but light on their feet. Uh, the body of those tend to be a bit lighter. The Alsatian uh, versions are in stark difference. The Alsace in France is freezing cold. It's not just cold, it's freezing cold there. So it's a very cool climate type. Uh, wines. So Pinot Grigio is called Pinot Gris there. Now, which came first, the chicken or the egg, right? The French are going to say, obviously, Pinot Gris is a French varietal native to France. The Italians are going to say, oh no, it's our grape. Who cares at the end of the day, right? Two different styles. It's lovely, lovely that they exist. Um, I prefer the Pinot Gris Alsatian style because it's got more weight, right? More of that cool climate. It reminds me of ice wine actually, but vinified dry. You might get a speckle of residual sugar in there, which gives it a, an off dry sensibility, but they are usually vinified completely dry. The weight on the, in your, on the palate, in your mouth, the, the viscosity is thick like an ice wine and they're buttery and smooth and lush. Lush is definitely the best word I'd use for a Pinot Gris. You know, it's got that creaminess like Chardonnay, but without all that, all that um, say, uh, oaky or sweet notes you get even sometimes in Chardonnay, Pinot Gris has got like a lush grapiness to it, like as if you took a grape off the vine, plucked it off, ate it, and this, that skin around the grape, you got that nice grapey flavor, but then you got this nice poached pear, poached peach, creaminess to it. So Pinot Gris, I love it. It's a clone of Pinot Noir. It's got that silkiness in your mouth. I love Pinot Gris. If you've never had one, you gotta try one, especially the, the Alsatian type. Uh, and being cool climate here in the Niagara region, that's what they've gone after. They've tried, uh, most wineries uh, have tried to implement uh, 
and echo the uh, Alsatian type uh, Pinot Gris. So blah 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 blah. Without all this talking, let's get into the wine. And uh, never do this at home, pop and pour. You know, you should always decant, leave it open, whatever. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to pop and pour this one for you. And you can see the color. You know, it almost looks like Chardonnay Pinot Gris, right? It's got a little bit of that yellow tinge to it. Uh, if you can see that. A little golden color to it. Maybe more pale than Chardonnay. Uh, but really nice weight like Chardonnay. So if you like Chardonnay, you're going to love Alsatian Pinot Gris or Pinot Gris from the Niagara region. Uh, one thing that I really liked about this wine uh, was obviously <laughs> the quality of fruit. And when I tasted it, uh, sometimes you can get this weird, funky rice paper taste at the on the finish of Pinot Gris, and this had none of that. So uh, thank thank goodness, because that really puts me off. Uh, and this had none of that, so maybe that's why I prefer this. I got a hint of it in the other two uh, examples, or in one of them actually. Uh, but this one had none of that, so purity of fruit is absolutely amazing with this wine. And the nose, man. I mean, you get these ice wine type qualities in here. Um, beautiful, buttery, like peachy, pear, baked apple. Man, even like caramel maybe, but I don't know. What do I know? But very lush on the nose. Let's test it out on the palate here. Mmm. Very nice white. Again, I can't even tell I drank this wine. It's so smooth. It just goes, you know, right down like butter. So, beautiful, beautiful wine. This would really go with some good creamy cheeses. It would actually go really good with a funky salad with, say, walnuts, blue cheese, you know, cucumbers, uh, peppers, all that kind of stuff. You know, a cool salad in there, cabbage. Uh, it would really go well with that because it would mingle very well with the nuts and the blue cheese. So, uh, Pinot Gris, very versatile with food. Man, if you haven't had Pinot Gris and you like Chardonnay, you gotta try it. You gotta try Niagara Pinot Gris or Alsatian Pinot Gris from the Alsace in France. Uh, that is your wine of the week. It's a 2012, which was a hot year, I must say, in uh, Niagara. Um, state bottling Pinot Gris from Fielding. Delicious.